Okay, we're gonna get into a taxi, uh, 5367, and we're gonna get to the next adventure. So I've been invited down here to Hongen Park. I was gonna say, I'm really not sure what's in this park because it's my first time, but just have a look just over the trees there. Just beautiful, looking forward to getting in there. Let's make our way up to the pavilion. Well, how about that? A beautiful park that's kept in great condition and they're not charging any tourists any money to get in here. I'm loving China a little bit more every day. Well, let me not get ahead of myself. This is Chongqing. This city will get you into shape, no problem, in two weeks. I hope I didn't read correctly when it said 2,500 stairs. What? Let's go. I think the 2,500 step estimate is pretty accurate. I don't see steps yet, but I'm sure they're there. I'm extending my hotel a couple of days and I was reading <laughs> it saying to confirm payment, they're asking me to put in the first character, the first Chinese character of the hotel. That's where I told we're supposed to go. You know, I don't normally show this, but even the garbage is neatly packed against the road. It's nothing but perfection here in this park. It has a beautiful running path, walk path. Wow. So peaceful up here. Uh, my wife loves these kind of plants. Ah, people just hanging out, having a good time. A little bit of a picnic here with the family. Now try to do this in your one of your city parks. Area for makeshift tents. Emergency command. Wow. I gotta try some of this stuff. What am I saying? I am trying this stuff. As we journey up one of the sides of the mountains here, this whole park is immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. Every, every detail about it. Oh yeah, this park's big. Um, let's see if this sign will help me. Uh, I don't know. Man, this Chinese mapping system's pretty good. I mean, it's even giving me details to the meter inside a park. Now I know Google does that, but you know that China launched a new satellite to help with GPS, and this is, this is pretty amazing. Um, not for the faint at heart. If you had too many drinks, and here we go, up more steps. I do wear the mask where it is necessarily possible. 1500 stairs later, this is the view. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Cute guy. Got a little canteen booth there. Let's do it. All right, let's go for the walk. bit dark in the evening here but I wanted to point this out about safety in parks you see this light here and here it's a camera 
with a system. If somebody needs help immediately, whether it's a doctor or an ambulance or you know something bad is happening, touch those posts and somebody will come immediately. What a great thing to have. Hey everybody, I'm here. My name is Alex and I'm here with Galloway. What, what is Galloway trying to do? Tall and what? Tall, tall, tall and handsome. Tall and great. I thought oh, tall and great. Tall and great. Do you know what time it is? It's, uh, you know. Uh, oh no, you missed the cue, man. T3 time. T3 time. Now we're hopping into the T3 and we're not gonna tell you just yet where we're going. Some great craft beer down there, isn't it? Yes, we need beer, we need, we need beer. We need beer. Yeah. And stick around, let's go. Okay guys, so I wanna show you something. You'll see the flickering lights here. Are, are those lights are basically put on your damn seatbelt and don't speed because you're gonna get caught. Okay, here we are on the... Would you, would you like to take over? Take over? The vlog tonight? No. Why not? Take over. <laughs> what, okay. what do you mean so, by take over? <laughs> yeah, like do the vlog. They don't want to always see no, me. You are the... Okay, all right. Galway brought us down to... Little Bangkok. Yes, Little Bangkok here in Chongqing. Yeah. Little Bangkok. In Chinese is Zui Lu. No, 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 no. Different, different. Okay, hang on, guys. Yeah, we've got some important information. The real name of this street is Zui Lu. Now it has a new name of Little Bangkok. It's because people. Because I'm here? Yeah, because you are here. <laughs> yeah. People think that this street looks like the streets of Bangkok. It does, it totally so reminds they me. They gave it a new name. It totally reminds me of a little Bangkok. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's celebrate the reopening. The Thailand border is opening in November 1st. Mm. Celebration. Yes. We're gonna do it yeah. tonight. tonight. All right, have a look at some of the shops. This is a bakery. They're closing down this bakery. Hello, still ladies. Have some items. Oh, you still have some items, huh? These are really cool little restaurants here. So what do you know about this area? Uh, actually, it's a very local area. Uh, a lot of community uh, used to have a lot of uh, uh, local shops and, and tea house. So recently, it became very trendy because uh, a lot of new restaurants and trendy bars right. opened here and they have a very new, uh, fresh design. So the young people, they love to visit these places and uh, grab a couple of drinks. Wow, very trendy, huh? Let's take a little bit of a walk. Here's a bistro. Moti, what would moti be? What's moti? Smoke. Smoke. Uh, cigarette, sorry. This here? Ah, okay, it's a brand. This is a... Uh... South Asia restaurant. Cascas. Cas. No. Traditional Chongqing hot pot, huh? And it looks like beer is well served here, everybody. Not to worry. Yeah, this is a very cool area. The whole street is covered with, you know, some beautiful trees. I think they're elms. And the vibe down here is pretty chill, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so what you'll find here on a Thursday and Friday is probably a lot of chairs. There's a lot of chairs that are out on the streets. People tend to just kind of really relax out here. When did this area start to become popular? I think in two years. For two years, it's just a very local community. Okay. Everything for everyone here. Those really remind me of the 70s, those big glass. Nickel restaurant and bar. Just have a look at the menu you've got. Okay, Maho Burger, if you look at that, the price there is 42 yuan. Good luck getting that in your country for that price. And that includes the service and the tax. Another trendy cafe. What's the name of this one? The Korean style barbecue. Korean style barbecue. So lots for everyone here. Burgers, pizza, pasta, barbecue. And this would be a tea house. Tea house, huh? Does remind me a little bit of Bangkok with all the scooters up on the sidewalks and people kind of spilling into the streets. It's a really nice vibe to it. Land yoga, is that what it is? It's a yoga place? It's pretty high-end yoga. <laughs> okay, so funny question. Do you feel safe in this area? Of course. Okay, I know, but hey. <laughs> I mean, there are certain areas from my country that you okay, just I, wouldn't go, okay? I, the reality is that every street like this is quite safe in China. Is there a no-go area in Chongqing? Maybe the mountains. The mountains, okay. Mountains, that's not okay, safe okay. for the you know, dangerous animals. Right, right, right. <laughs> you could be walking down a European street. Okay. I mean, if you stumbled on the wrong block, you would think you're somewhere in Paris. 
Well, have we? Have you eaten here before? Yes. Okay, I love Indian restaurant. Ow. Oh, look at it's this place. Bar. Wow, look at this. Oh, I, guys, I, look at these lights. Look at these lights. I'm surprised they have those in a restaurant. They'd be gone if we were in another city. Is it a bar? Or? Yeah, a bar. Pretty snazzy. Wow, this area is just, and it goes all the way down this entire street. Wow, look at this little table setup, guys. Isn't that kind of cool? Wouldn't you like to just kind of sit back there, look at good old Chongqing at nighttime on the selection of beers. Now that is how it's done in Chongqing. And if you want to little, get a little bit closer inside the place, you can see all the beers there. Oh, and we got another, the 72 beer shop. Wow, look at this. Look at this, guys. I gotta take a shot of this. You have an amazing place, very nice. Wow. Are you the owner? Are you the boss? How are you? My name is Alex. How many different beers have you got? Uh, 200, over 200. 200 beers, all right, great. Over 200 beers in this bar here. Look at this, guys. I gotta take a shot of this. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Huh? So where, where's the uh, zoom out function? Uh, you can it on. Okay. Sorry. FTV. I think I'm gonna leave it on FTV then. Just walked out of the most amazing beer place. Have you seen a place like that before? 200 yes. bottles of beer? Where? Yeah. Oh, Where? you mean? Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I, I'm keeping him on his toes tonight, okay? I'm speaking really fast. Have you been to a bar that had 200 choices of beer before? Wow, no. I think it's only in Chongqing. Only in Chongqing. Enjoy so many kinds of beers. Yeah. And guys, you gotta see the the. This is like an old diner setup. Look at the doors here. So stainless steel doors and then the windows here. We're not doing laundry. Yeah. Coffee and shop, basically. You want to bring the girl down and she can shop? Or she can drink coffee and we can shop. <laughs> they are really doing a bang up job down here. You just asked me if I feel safe here. So that's the example. For security reasons, right. take care of every tourist at this area. And nothing is complete except a 24-hour bookstore and art gallery. Another thing I noticed about this area. Oh, I was just going to say the horns. I was I was just going to say you didn't you don't hear horn honking from the car, and then the guy just honked the horn. Do you like to take some footage of there? Some what's over there? Local snacks, food. Yeah, let's go look. Okay. Can you hold that? Don't worry. Follow me. Okay, Galway, where are you taking me? So actually, opposite this street, there are some very local restaurants, spicy okay. food. Yeah, Chongqing style. Chongqing people can't live without spicy food, so yeah. Of course, our video. Yeah, for our video. Oh, we got yeah. some excitement coming up here, guys. Okay, here we go. Yeah, drinking. Even the cats can relax. Why is it that Chinese order beers in sometimes a 12 at one time? Wow. It, I heard because they don't want to order 12 separate times. Yes. Just give it to me one time. Yes. And uh, that's good. Yes. If you can't finish them all, you can return it. Oh, can you? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Okay, that's great. So as Gawi was saying that, uh, yes, you can order all the beer you want. If you can't drink them all, you can take them back. Well, Gawi, I gotta tell you, this area is not as busy as the other area, though. Jam, jammed on the weekend. Uh, do they all look the same to you? Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, if I was in Canada, I would know each individual restaurant was different in a certain way. Hot, 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 hot. Or, the, <laughs> we are in a very new developed uh, uh, area, but the people, uh, they want to have some local food, so the community, they built a street like this. Now that's somebody that just finished. You guys are not going to believe the peppers here. Look at look at the hot peppers. I don't know any Canadian that could sit at that table and finish that meal. It's impossible. Yes. I can't even smell it from you know five meters away on the table. Ever have Peroni beer? Peroni? Peroni. No. Okay. Tonight you're drinking Peroni. Oh, beer? Yeah, of course Italian okay. beer. Yeah, it's a, a 
and uh, we're gonna have some Italian beer and we're gonna get some pizzas. We'll see you guys in Chow Restaurant. Okay, see you there. What's this place? Beer, burger. Look at this place, guys. Beer, burger, and Pac-Man. A what? Poker. Mini burgers. What are you looking for here? No, no, that. You love burgers, so we can order that later. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Galway is always worried about me eating in the office, as well as my wife. This little place has a cool little arcade machine, which I love. We've got mini burgers here, and the prices are ranging from about $4, four dollars to five dollars. So we ordered this like on the uh, the office. office. No, yeah, not the office because it's. <laughs> Just got some bad news. We're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants that I walk by here called Cha. Look at how busy this place is. Some chairs on that shelf in there, or at the bar. See, ooh, look at this. Very nice. Frosted glasses. Frosted beer glasses. Okay. Honest opinion on the beer now, man. There it is. Very fresh. Good, huh? So, Galway and I had some burgers at the Chow restaurant with some peroni beers. But you're not gonna believe this. Remember the burger place we went to earlier? This place had it on the menu, but the guy we spoke to from up the street delivered us the burgers. They've been outsourced. Very innovative, if you ask me. Well, guys, you know what time it is, everybody. It's half past 11. <laughs> it's T3 time. <laughs> what a great evening here at Chow Restaurant. It's Chow for me. Good night, guys. Take care.